the wildlife crime scorecard looks at 23 countries implicated in wildlife crimes and illegal trade in endangered wildlife species. We see these countries categorized into three groups. The source countries of the wildlife products, the transit countries that facilitate passage of these wildlife products to the end users who are known as the consumer countries. In all, these are 23 countries that the scorecard looks at and what progress they have made towards alleviating wildlife crime and illegal trade. The key findings of the wildlife crime report indicate that none of the 23 countries listed is doing enough to stop wildlife crime and illegal trade that could possibly lead to the extinction of rhinos, elephants, and tigers. Last year was the worst year in Africa, which saw the highest number of elephants and rhinos being poached, with the Central African region being the hardest hit and seeing the possible extinction of the rhino. In as far as consumer countries are concerned, Vietnam and Laos have failed in terms of law enforcement and compliance. The wildlife crime scorecard also indicates India and Nepal having significant improvements with Nepal in 2011 not seeing a single case of poaching. On the African continent, countries like South Africa have made significant progress in terms of law enforcement effort to counteract poaching. I strongly believe that key to stopping extinction of endangered species is getting full government commitment and political will.